So today I'm gonna to show you how to not only track objects into your scene, but also blend them into the actual objects. Let's take a look at the clip that I created. So that was actually really cool to make and figure out. It was actually kind of a pain to figure out, but it's a, I finally did figure it out, so that was cool. I'm not gonna talk about how I actually lit the scene, but I do wanna make a few points of like why I have these X marks on there around the scene, because really with this, there's not a lot of contrast. And when you're actually blending objects or text or logos onto actual objects, it needs to be really well tracked. Otherwise, even if it's subtle, you'll see the actual object under the text filtering and it takes away the illusion of the text actually being in the scene on the object spray painted on or whatever you think it is. So my advice to you is to actually shoot wide and add these tracking points. Every scene's gonna be different. There's stuff that I did shoot like outside of my fence where because it's so geometric, I was able to use all the contrast points of the linking of the fence so it tracked better. But with this, I had to add these X's. So I shot wide and then I cropped in later. So let's jump into Resolve and I'll show you how to actually do this and get the blending options so that you can have your objects actually put into your scene. So we are here in Resolve and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a merge node. And then from here, I'm gonna add the planar tracker. This is going to allow you to track and actually add perspective to things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create basically a shape or a mask around my cross points and I'm going to try to follow the table here. It might help a bit with the tracking. As I'm doing this too, like if you notice to the right here under pattern, it says tracker. There's a point and there's a hybrid one. The hybrid tends to have better results, but everything has to stay in the frame. And I actually needed to use the tracker on this or the point one on this one. Um, and it was the same for the fence one as well that I showed you in the examples before. But to go back to this as well, notice after I made the mask right there, I went up to the top under where it says operation mode track and had to hit the set point before I started pushing the track. So this looks like it tracked pretty well. Everything seems to be moving correctly. So from here, I wanted to go hit Create Planar Transform. I would definitely do this in case you ever have to do stuff with it later. You can use the corner pinner in the Planar Tracker one that I'm removing right now, but you could just go ahead and do this to make it easier. So now we're gonna take the Planar Tracker, put it into the foreground, and then from here, we're going to add our text node into the Planar Tracker. And then this is going to like run through the tracker and allow it to stay on frame. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna add our camera gear title again, change the colors, you know, set up the text how I want it, and there we go. Now from here, how to get the perspective, we're gonna use a corner positioner. And this is, if you just watch how it works, it's really just moving these points around and you can change the perspective and the angle of what your text is so that it looks like it's, you know, naturally in the frame. And because it's running through the planar tracker, essentially, you know, it's going to stay as long as you did a good job tracking, it's going to stay in place and not move. So this is looking pretty good. And I'm actually using that line there under the under the text right there, as you can see, just as like to make sure things are lined up and the perspective looks good. And to my eye, that looks good. I would definitely use your eye. Um, you can also use things in the scene as well. So the last part here is the Lumicure. This is what's gonna actually blend the text in. It's pretty simple. You're gonna take the Lumicure, put the media in into the input of the Lumicure, and then take the Lumicure and put it back into the mask of the merge node. This is going to allow you to use the Lumicure to pull out like the darker areas where, where it's dark on the table out of where it says camera gear. So you could see it worked pretty quickly already. And if I pull this up a little bit, it's gonna rip out wherever it's dark, you're not gonna be able to see the camera gear anymore and it's actually gonna blend into the table. And with this, you can use the channel and it, you can use different colors or luminance, whatever you wanna use. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I hope you thought this was cool. Uh, it was like a pretty quick video again. Uh, I'm actually working on a big project that I want to put out. I'm actually going to try to do a product commercial. I've never done it before. I just bought actually some coral pink seamless and I'm going to do it with milk bar cookies. Uh, I guess some, well, some of the inspiration definitely is going to come from Daniel Schiffer. I kind of want to try to have the stuff exploding out of the product. I'm going to experiment with stop motion and I feel like this project's going to take quite a while. So I actually might release it in segments. 
talking about how I'm lighting it so I can get figure out the lighting so it's really good. Talk about how I'm doing the stop motion and then hopefully this project actually turns out half decent. If I can get 75% to what's in my head, I'll be really happy. But I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit subscribe. I will be pushing out videos every week to teach you new things as I learn new stuff. Uh, hit the like button, apparently it helps the algorithm. And yeah, like leave a comment, let me know what you think. And until next time, do your thing.